wheel source. Yes, exactly. Sound, sound, sound. Make sure your belt's not twisted. twisted the bottom part as well. Aaron. Always run, and run your fingers up and down, make sure they're all okay. I'm getting rid of one of my hairs. I'm just going straight back in there, oh yeah. Got it. Sorted, okay. Um, what did we do last time? Remember? It's proper concentrating on looking. Looking. Yeah. There's a few little things to be fed. I think we, we ended it um, here on the picture up from work to virtually say there's a lot of things that I'm still helping you with. Yeah. Wasn't there? Alright. The gear's snatching at second gear, yeah. Can you sort that out if you need to? Is that okay now? Yeah. Cool. Snatching at second gear. What can you do with your hand position? Yes. To you did say in I think one of the other lessons what can you do with your hand position to ensure that you're going to be selecting second gear and not snatching push it over to the left Palming. Yeah. try and slow things down as well you tend to snatch at your gear because you tend to look quite late as well so mm -hmm. the, the arrive there then look is a big thing that I always have to try and get away uh, or get novice drivers away from so um, looking on the approach try not to just remember what gear you choose <coughs> on what, what particular corner we do that's not the case each time that we do it it's all different um, signaling uh, mirrors and signals I'm gonna try and get you doing that a little bit today mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna try and take a little bit of a step back we concentrated on following where to look quite a lot last time didn't we yeah. yeah still needs a little bit of practice a little bit of work it did improve last time so well done good but it's just got to get natural now to be honest that's that's what we're going to try and do um what do you like to do today what do you think you need to be working on i don't know not sure no to try some more roundabouts try some more roundabouts yeah okay cool um, we did a couple of those right turns at crossroads last time as well, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Um, honestly, I think the skills that we're working on regarding where to look and changing your car to suit what you're seeing applies to roundabouts, applies to crossroads. It's not particularly a junction or a type of junction that you're having particular problems with. It's the skill coming into that particular junction that yeah. we need to work with. Um, just try today to have as loose a grip on your steering wheel as you possibly can. Don't mm -hmm. forget I'm here to pull the wheel to move it. People think more pressure is more control. Um, it's the opposite of that to be honest. You need to be ready to control the steering wheel however um, nice and loose with your hands because sometimes the, the grabbing still causes a couple of issues, doesn't it? Alright, off to work, off we go, I'll tell you which way. Drive on. Excuse me, wearing shorts. I don't often um, wear shorts on lessons, but I'm only dropping you off to work, so I've said that I'm not sticking a pair of jeans on in this warm weather. I've said that. Okay. Good, hold on, happy? Yeah. Remember, we're not avoiding the silver car. Look around the hedge to the left side and follow it. We don't want to go towards or away. And what should your eyes now do? Go up. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's what we're going to try and do. The other thing, just looking at your left foot there, is nice and smooth and controlled with that clutch today. So left, to, left turn, please. Up. Okay. Still in the middle of the road. Okay. You needed to follow the left curb a little tighter. Okay. Make sense? Yes. So go on, you do a better job with this one because you're going out in the middle of the road again. Do you 
understand what I mean about your hands? They've got to relax and they cannot just hold. What's your plan with this? Sharing distance. Perfect. Did you say sharing distance there? Yeah. Nice. Good. There was. There was sharing on the corner, but I like the way you slowed down there and let them pass the park one. That was good. Right turn, please. Uh-huh. Get that right mirror as well. Get a signal, we can't see who's coming at the junction. Brake more, stop, stop, stop. It's too fast. You still come off the brake hoping where you're not, sh not sure and not certain. You've got to keep braking until you're absolutely certain it's clear. Okay. All right? Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Keep looking as we're doing it. Go on, keep looking as we're doing it. Go on, move your hands and keep looking. There you go. Good. Because that final little bit was just coming up to the junction. Yeah. We'll have a little think about that in a second. That final little bit coming up to the junction, you weren't absolutely certain it was clear. That was the only thing. We'll turn left, please, over the top. signal at junctions. Stop. What went on there? There's no one behind. What went on? What do you mean? Coming up to the junction. What that gear are you? Second. You've done no prep because you're just looking at that giveaway line. Okay. Come on, you've got to think coming into things now. <coughs> what should we do while we're sat here? Take it first. Good. Come on, not in the middle of the road. How do you use the clutch? Slowly. All right. So that's the norm usually, isn't it? Yes. Looking at that giveaway line. That's what we're going to try and get away from. So for that corner there, should I just put it into first to start with? Could you see far around no. the left corner? So therefore I put it into first. But looking at the giveaway line doesn't give your brain enough information to actually work that out and sort that out. Yes. Okay. Because the giveaway line looks like a giveaway line. It doesn't then allow you to distinguish between this is sharp and I can't see, or this is open and I can see and it's clear. Make sense? Yeah. Do you need to park in and fix your mirrors? No, I'm just checking that on the right distance. Yeah, you're pretty good. Well done. Just a little close to that one. To so change, adapt, and change your feet as well. It doesn't have to be foot still. That's one thing that I'm forever going on to you about, isn't it? You have to adjust your foot to suit all of that, not just following that road surface. How far were you away from that black one? Quite close. Yeah, you need to work that out in your windscreen a little bit more. Showing you the closest you can get to things. What's my plan here? What do you think? I think he's going to wait there. Very good. Were you ready to go in there? Yeah. Good. Nice job. We'll get to the end and turn left. Okay. What's the van done? Stop. Thank waiting. you very much. So, we sort this out. left once, stops a second, put it in first now. How can you work out how sharp it is not looking left? Make sense? Yes. Come on. Mm. You're still not looking left enough. Move your hands more. You avoid the cars rather than looking where you've got to go. Make sense? Of course. This 
roads are pretty... Uh, What's that there to the right? Um, they sell food and bits and bobs and there's always queues there. Um, this road's quite um, heavily lined, so what we're going to do to find a place to park is actually get to the lights and turn left, please. Still struggling, like sit, sit normally and relax because you just slouched in your seat to then adjust your mirrors. Sit normally, hold the steering wheel, good, sit and relax. Imagine you're driving, then just glance from there. Seems all right, then. Which way did you think it needed to go? Down, up, I mean, oh. I think it's because I might have been going uphill. No, uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. That seems okay now. Seems okay. Yeah, that one that doesn't. I think you'd see a little bit of your car. Yeah. All right. I'm still really struggling with choosing the gear when I'm coming up to the corner. I know, because the, there's little work with your ears coming in. You do struggle with that. You struggle with the the sound of the engine you always have done. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's something. Um, what what tells you whether you need a higher gear first of all? If it's not rumbling, if it sounds like higher pitch, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, and if it's rumbling, it's lower. Uh, yeah. Okay, so a lower sound, lower pitch, lower gear, higher pitch, higher gear. Yeah. So you do need to tune your ears in a little more to what's happening as you're coming up. Um, people tend to just be visually based. Um, which is what you tend to do, but when you look at the wrong things, when you look at the incorrect things, you stare at a giveaway line rather than round the corner, you're not telling your brain enough. So that needs to be sorted on the way in. You gotta try and work things out on the way in. However, your hands have been quite nice and relaxed. Okay, and um, I've got nothing really to add with that. Still the similar things that we're, we've been trying to work with, mm -hmm. so just keep going. Go, off you go. Carry on again. Unless you've got any questions. <coughs> nope. Okay, go on then. Oh, good. Relax your hands. Move them as much as required. Relax your hands as much as you can. And your feet naturally relax as well, and you'll work. That's good. Well done. Been better with that second gear already. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think it's down to relaxing hands. Mm -hmm. It often is. When people grip the wheel too tight, they grip the gear stick too tight, and then the feet do the same sort of things as well. All right. Pretty good. Well done. I think we were talking last time as well about um, what gear is best suited in this car at 30. You listen to it as well, and if you look at your rev counter, you know your rev counter is that dial on the right. Yeah. It's in between one and two thousand revs, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Anywhere in between one and two thousand revs is perfect. If it gets up to two, going okay, too fast. Uh, it needs it needs a higher gear. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it needs a higher gear, and then if it gets down to one, it needs a no. lower gear. However, you need to do that with your ears. Yeah. So you're not looking at your dials all the time. That's good. Well done. <clears throat> Got the wrong way to where we want to go, but don't worry. I'm uh, clock watching. Leave it to me to manage where we need to be at what time. Can we even tell you we were going the wrong way? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it's only because you wanted to park and we just needed to find a little 
place to park. I could have gone down the other road and back out to it thinking about it, but anyway. We'll go this way, it's not a problem. This is the road that you've done a few times coming up towards the end of the traffic lights where you treat it like you give way. Just remind me, when our lights are on green, what should side to side be doing? Stopping. Correct, but why is it still important for us to have a little glance side to side? Vehicles. Emergency vehicles or, or anything that's an emergency. We'll get to the end and turn right, please, Erin. counter. Why are you changing? For what reason? Look at the lights, Erin. We're on red. So you're changing down gear, not observing. We need first gear because ours are going to go shortly. Okay. Uh, too slow. No. Just accelerating a bit more now if it's clear. Accelerate a bit more in between the gear changes. Go on. Better. Let's look at the rev counter now. It's it's a bit high. It's not a problem if it goes a little high, but from that sound you can then gauge whether it needs a lower gear or not. Okay. Excuse me, just changing the mic position a little second. Not because it was a little down, that's all. It's listening which allows you to manage the speed as well, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we're going at a good speed. Uh -huh. it, it's not a problem about um, not looking at it. You, you need to look at it to see what speed you're doing, but I'm saying manage it to maintain the speed. Am I going at the right speed? Yeah, have a lovely look at your speed though. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's totally fine. We're just going to go ahead, please. Scan every single road section, not the floor, and see where we are. We've done this one a few times before, Aaron. Where are you going to head? Into this left lane. Uh huh. Oh, good. Well done. What are you expecting from the, the lights? Maybe to change. Is that too harsh? No, you just um, didn't do enough initially. Oh, yeah. Remember, you need to do more sooner. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Is it because you're thinking gears? Yeah. You're screw with your gears a little bit. So come on, let's work on gears a little bit today. Let's mm -hmm. try and simplify things a little bit more yes. then. Alright? Go ahead, I'm gonna try and do um, a couple of roundabouts as you um, wanted. Why did that person overtake me if I wasn't going that slow? Um, you were doing 28, which was totally fine for me. Um, people do. People um, don't stick to the speed limit, they do overtake, they, they don't want to get stuck behind a learner as well, but that's irrelevant, if I was honest, don't worry about that, it's not an issue. Did they put us at danger? No. No, it's irrelevant then, it doesn't matter. You understand what I'm meaning about the sound of the engine a little yeah, yeah. bit more, alright? Just get tuned into that. Right, isn't it? Is that the way I do it? Yep, yeah, perfect. Well done for watching. Just remember it's not the start off of the gear changes which make you go fast. It's the acceleration in between, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. You're still trying to relax the hands as much as you can. Uh, I think maybe I'll... Good, good, good. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Very, very well done. That's loads better. That's what you need to do coming into things. Right, how are you going to deal with that? Is that a problem? Yeah. Not now, is it? No. Good. Well done. So it's the acceleration gets you going quicker, it's not the gear changing. Do the gear changing and then do it smoothly and then accelerate more. But you don't do the gear change smoothly, you snatch at the gear change and then don't accelerate enough. It's the opposite, do that smoothly now. Now it's done, accelerate, there you go, sorted. Good, so when you get to 30, by all means look at your speedo, but now listen to manage and get used to that sound, that's key. Close to the gutter. That's better now. That's about your doors width. Okay, so we're used to that positioning. We've shown you those things. Good. Anything up there near?
near the lights that you can see it's a problem. It's stopped. That's not really a big issue. What about the parked one? She yeah. instant reaction to stare at it. That needs to be done sooner. What are you going to do with your speed with this one? Just Slow down a little bit. And it's nearly stalling there as well. Do you see things are a little late? Mm -hmm. And then that puts loads more pressure on your listening ability, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do things earlier, do things sooner. Look further up the road. Which, oh, it's not going to be next, well it's going to be us. Start creeping before the gap, remember. Well nice job. Just come in here a little, because you're drifting. That's that, that right hand, remember, it's too heavy with the pressure. Yeah. You've got to relax. Okay, the gear changes always make you all on edge with things, don't they? Yeah. yeah? turning going to affect us up ahead, is it? Mm, no. Is anyone going to come out of the junction as a problem? No. Could you stop even if you did? It's fine then, isn't it? Yes. Notice you looked at your speedo there to see what was happening. That's I, I could tell it was going down there. Though. Therefore, don't look at your speedo, <laughs> just squeeze your gas a little bit more. Now look at your speedo and see where, it's where you're at. It's going too high. It's about right, to be fair. Okay. There you go. At the roundabout, we're going to turn right, please. Okay. Hold on. Nice job. Remember if it's separate, yeah, do cancel the signal and then put it back on when we're closer. So have a go at your right turn at the roundabout. Get the stuff coming in sorted. Are you choosing the gear off what you're seeing? Yes. Or are you just are oh, you? Yeah? Is it yeah. gonna flow into second do you think? Yeah. Right signal on error. Sorry, that was left wasn't it? Are you looking? Looking at the white car, you were. Yeah. Are you going towards the curb? You are. Now down? Yeah. That was a great. Okay. We're going to find us somewhere to park. On the left, please. Okay. Can I park here? Yeah, there's no yellow lines or anything, is there? Pretty good to be honest. Oh, good decision. Good, good. Good. Hold on for parking in the shade as well. Nice job. Um, we had a little entrance there. If you look in your left mirror. Yeah. With parking in and the signal. Do you think that was an issue? Pardon? Oh, I had the signal on too soon. Actually, I, I don't think you did, to be honest. Because if you look across to the left, the gates are closed. Oh, closed, okay. I don't think your speed was ever going to be misleading to people, but you have to be aware of stuff like that. that yeah. and there was a taxi that was following us, a private hire taxi that was following us, um, that was showing little anticipation. So okay. you've got to be a little bit more aware of all around. Mm -hmm. Come on then. What, what was your thoughts about the roundabout? I think I chose the right gear in all honesty. You did, but you chose it well before you really knew what was going on. You didn't check you didn't signal you're obsessed with these gears okay you've got to go a little bit differently than that if you observe and if you look Aaron you will have time for the gears I mm -hmm. promise you all right it's only because you look really late that you always feel rush feel rushed for them um, it is something that I have to remind you of quite a bit to check and put signals on before you do things so your awareness has got to be a little bit more mm -hmm. behind why is it important that we do put a right signal on when we're doing a right turn at a roundabout? Who does that particularly help? Everyone. Um, <laughs> really, who does it? Who does it help the most? Does it help people behind? Not really. No, people going left. People going left. Um, a little bit. So the people to our left-hand side, it, yeah. it really says to them. We're going to keep going. We we'll keep going round. You can head off that left lane's free. Yeah, that, that would help. Would it help people across the other side? Say if you're coming up to a roundabout here. Yeah. And there's someone from the other side. Us putting a right signal on 
What would it tell those people from the other side? That we're going right. So therefore they have to give way to us. Mm -hmm. All right. When you came off the roundabout, what was that like? Didn't even know I was going in all honesty. I know, because throughout the roundabout, you came onto the roundabout, you looked at the white car to the left, you then steered away from it, you went towards the kerb. I had to tell you about steering away from the kerb and then you, really, you were a little bit late coming back. You have to learn to look far. All right, you cannot look from here to this junction in front of us away. You have to look far. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, keep practicing. Your hands will load better today. Let's get going. I need to get you up to Sainsbury's. Okay. Go on. I would say after these, I could have went then. That's the okay then. That's fine. I would say after. The, the third black one. I think that's a possibility as well. Okay, so should I indicate the Good. We good? I thought that was excellent. I thought that was very good. You timed that lovely. Now what should you do with your speed and your, your feet? Smooth gear change and accelerate, Aaron. That's not smooth though, is it? No. Is this silver one going to be a problem? No. Could it still be a problem now? Could yeah. it come forward off the kerb? Yeah. Lights being on red. Yeah. You're just staring forward, Aaron. You're just staring at the line. There's no thought of this junction whatsoever. Notice you. You don't know, even know what I'm talking about. Okay. Look at the junction around us. Yeah. That should be watched as you're coming in. You know how to do it when we get here. You know what to be doing now. You know that amber light over there changing. Yes, means that you should be doing that. You need to do that as you get here. Not when you get here. You have to plan more. Really important. Good. She rode good. today is not help you as much okay. you've got to look you've got to do it remember I said at the end of last lesson that I wasn't going to be your walking stick anymore yes. and I'm not Thanks. you're Thanks. doing it we're going to take the second right not this little turn here Next which is, yes oh good job and we go to the right. You just don't look, Aaron. You don't look where you've got to go. You just look at the front of the car and stay the front away. Do you understand? You don't look. Come on. You need to look into your road that you're going, not. Hypothetically, that if that was the right road, I chose the right gear and that if it wasn't the right road. Well, it was a total guess then because you'd not even looked at what the road was like and the sharpness was like. So, um, honestly, no, the, the gear wasn't correct, although it was. So it was correct? Uh, but it was a guess. No, you guessed correct. Right. You guessed correctly. No, I looked at the road. Turn right, please. Oh my 
you're staring at the cars, what should you be doing? Um, you're in second gear and you're rolling. There's no prep coming in whatsoever. First gear. Can you improve your view at all? Are you up to the edge of the road? Or have you got a good enough view around that grey one to the left? So, yeah, what, what are you going to do about it? Is that a better view now? Mm -hmm. Stop then. Handbrake back on, swap your feet round. Good. Now, get looking at the last cars you're waiting for. Get looking quickly. This one and this one. Nope. your feet in the wrong time to what the plan's doing as well don't you you're so used to trying to go when you need to go rather than planning yeah that's why it gets the handbrake off and you start rolling what's the road like Evan? so what i want you to think is good Back at that other junction, I want you to remember what you said, that you chose the correct gear. And I'm going to try and explain to you why that's impossible. All right? Come on, get third. Come on. Definitely needs it. Definitely needs it. Good. Traffic lights. The lights yes. Right. Traffic lights were going to turn right, please. You had loads of time to get the gear in, didn't you? Yeah? So traffic lights turn right. looking at the back of that white one or are you looking around the junction notice you always do it you come in looking at the back mm -hmm. where you've got to be doing it as you're coming in there it wasn't too bad because the traffic was just starting to move from the left and right so you got away with that one but the situations where it catches you out because you constantly want to look at the floor to do your stops yeah and look at the ground we can't yeah i agree yeah good well done i rolled it there's your answer it's not our, we're not are we Cool. Clutch down, Evan. Don't look at your gears. Gas and slowly with a bite. Squeeze your gas. Off we go. Quick second gear. Round we go. Round we go to the left lane of the two. Of the three, sorry. And left at the lights. floor in front of you, you're not looking round Aaron. Okay, and we'll find somewhere to park in on the left please. Do we need to tell anyone? Yeah. Okay. Nice job, nice park. Good, secure it up. Cool, just relax, chill. So, the stall, what causes the stall? Clutch. You just launch it, you just rush with it. Mm. Okay, you can't just pull it up. Um, going back to the other junction where you said that you picked the correct gear, mm -hmm. you think it, it, it was the correct gear, but the bit that I'm getting at is that it's guessed because you went to turn down the wrong side of the road therefore you had no clue where you were turning and how sharp it was and what the problems were there so it was the correct gear yes but it was a guess you guessed correctly and it's looked at the road you didn't because you turned in the wrong part of it okay i didn't well if you'd looked at the road would you have chose to go down the wrong side where the cars are coming out no but there was actually no cars coming down that bit Okay, so you hadn't really looked at the part of the road that you were turning to determine what speed and gear to use. 
if I said hypothetically if that was the right road, I would have picked the right gear. I know, but it's not the correct gear. It's not the correct gear choice. Okay. Because you went down the wrong part of it. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. You have to look at what goes on. That road that you went to turn has a curve coming out like that. But the road we needed to go down was very sharp. So therefore they're different. Therefore, it was a guess of the gear. And it can't be, you've got to look where you're going. These gears you wrapped up with, mm -hmm. all right? And you've got to go with observations much more. It's really important. You've got to look and you've got to observe. Coming in towards the back of the white car, even at the lights there, I know it didn't affect us there, but they're the bits that do affect you. You tend to look at the floor, arrive there, then start everything. And there's too much to do with the gears and the handbrake and the bits and bobs. That's why when we went and had a go in the automatic, things were much easier, things were much simpler, because you had less to do. And it seems as though it's a, um, it's a struggle for you at times to get everything in, to do everything that you need to do in the time scale that we've got. Would you say that's would you say that's fair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um let's get going. I'm gonna get driving. Just keep relaxing your hands and keep trying to plan. Try not to arrive and get there and then work things out. Try and do it on the approach. Alright. Nicely done. Nice job. That clutch was too rushed. Mm -hmm. Come on. You need to be doing it better than that by now. Come on. You know to use it, but every single time virtually you just launch it up. Even there. You're tentative and then you just lift. You've got to balance it at the bite. You've got to use a little squeeze of gas, a little bit of bite, get it working, and then lift it and get going. Okay. about coming up we're going to turn right please Aaron. Put a right signal on Aaron. You're steering away. Stay in. Carry on. It's a it's fine for us to give ways to the side. So it is the third junction we're taking. So you go around this curve. The little one's two where the people are walking. It's the one after where the bus is going. How do you leave? What's your road like? Okay. Gear just about held up. Gear just about got you sorted, but you were struggling a little bit there, weren't you? Yeah. Did you notice that you struggled because you were looking at the floor coming in and it's a surprise when you get there of what's going on and what's happening? Yeah. Eyes have got to be further up. sharpness the corner. Listen. Good. Good. You're only looking round to the left after you've started steering. And that's the problem with it. You look forward to turn and then you try and catch up. And it's not enough. You have to look in your road where you're going more. That speed and gear choice was good though. So it was very good. speed them on this road. Okay. Okay. Till you see something, do stay at 30. Actually 
actually see the width of the traffic lights from way further back to work out that there was a wider gap than um, one lane. Try not to look at the floor though. The floor is nothing. It's nothing to do with much to be fair. It's the last resort. Do you know the speed up on this road as well? It's, it's 40. We've driven past a fair few side roads with 30s in as well, so just got to get looking a little more. How are you going to deal with these cyclists, Sarah? I'm going to slow down. No, not necessarily. Okay. Might you have to slow down now, though? Yes. So, okay. Got our lights on. Right. Is it worth going past them? So we've gone quite close in, and we're quite close to this. What do you think would have been a, a safer option, do you think? Stop before the good, uh, keep close thing. Yeah. Okay, so the information you know, but mm -hmm. it's just giving yourself time to see it. That's the key. That's what we're going to try and get you doing a little bit more. What's your thoughts to make this safe? Wait for him to go. Cool. I'm going to leave you to deal with the cyclist safely. How far and how wide are you going to get? Nice job. Cyclist, plenty of room. Need to do more than look at the back of this van in front of you. What am I doing? Carry on. Do you know what flashing amber means? way to people on the crossing. I did that on a um, pedestrian crossing lesson about three or four back. Yeah? through rather than the back of though. Look through. Mm -hmm. Remember that creep before the gap. I think I've tried to take a bit of a step back today. I think I've said less. step up to the plate a little bit more and do a little bit more. We're going to follow the signs for Preston, Aintree and Everton, please. Do you know where you're going? Yeah. We don't need to be on this line. Appreciative of other people, good, take it off, and then we're turning right. Relax, put a 
right signal on over. Drops into second gear. Follow that line, Aaron. You're looking forward, you cannot look forward. You cannot look forward to turn. Signal left now. And head off into the left lane, gas drive. Leave the signal. Now cancel it, now we're in the road. judgment of that side you've got to trust yourself we've shown you how to do it as well are you gonna look before we turn no nope. round the corner think about what we're trying to get you to do to look before you go into the roads left at the roundabout please mirrors before you do anything it's not just signaling is it still clear right mm -hmm. crossing we're going to turn right and then immediately right again please so here we're turning right yeah yes please signal again Aaron. Mm. clutch down put it in first oh my goodness round to the right you don't look in your road Aaron. you need to now what we're going to do we're going to keep to the left and we're going to finish by parking forward into one of the bays on the right here. one of the bays on the right forward into one of them do you need to tell anyone yeah. Yes, go slower Aaron, clutch down, slower, now roll, gas and bite and creep and go around one of the lines when you wish to turn, go slow by dipping the clutch if needed. Are you going towards or away from that line do you think? Towards. Do you know when you're all the way up to the bay? I don't know. You do underneath your mirror. It's yes. not the front. Yes. That fear of there just goes on and on and on. Stop. Why are you looking back out the front again then? Pardon? Why are you looking back out the front again? I don't know. You just said to me how you know where the front of the car is. Yes. Underneath your mirror. Well, you said you didn't know, but you do, don't yes. you? Yeah? But then you still continue to look there. Mm -hmm. Which is closer? That hedge or the curb? My mirror. Or the curb. <laughs> look at the curb then. Yeah. It's not quite up to it yet, is it? So move your car slowly. Don't roll, Erin. Stop. Stop. How do you stop the car from rolling? Yes. Good. Move the car slowly and straighten up. You're looking forward again, Erin. Move your hands so it's straightened. And do you think you're up to it? You're up to it now? Yeah. Good. All right, secure your car. Cool. Um, you can turn the parking sensors off. Cool, and just relax, just chill. I'll let you go. I know you've got um, about 10 minutes before you've got to be in work, so we'll be pretty quick. Um, any thoughts? No. No. What have you learned today? What have you picked up? Don't know. Don't know? Nothing? No. no? Do you want me to remind you or you've got a bit of a... No, you just want to... Done. Finished. No. What do you think? What do you think you've... Uh, we've gone over? What have, what have I tried to do with my instruction today? Talk less. Talk less. And how's that gone? Not the best. You've struggled a bit, you joke. You understand that what I said last lesson, the end of last lesson, is that you rely on me way mm -hmm. too much. It is the case, isn't it? Yes. You've got to start doing more yourself. Um, do you think you relaxed your hands a little yeah. bit better today? Cool. Were there any issues with snatching second gear today? Not really. Oh, cool. 
roundabouts have you worked out anything with the we've done a few right turns today at roundabouts haven't we yeah good and you keep forgetting that signal on the approach who does that signal generally help people coming to give way remember what i said before who does it generally help People, People across the opposite side, yeah. telling them we're going round in front of them. Mm -hmm. All right. What problems were you having on a few of the right turns, though? The gears. Uh, a few of the right turns at the roundabouts. What problems were you having? Not looking where the road goes. Looking forward. You have to then rescue that steering all the time. All right. But don't get too hacked with yourself. Keep cracking on. All done, child. You can turn your car off.